agriculture in these conditions is not easy. I mean, we can see the desert environment we're surrounded with here. It's truly harsh, sandy, rocky desert sand, scorching sun and temperatures, and still we're able to cultivate these areas. And I've been picking up a small hand of the sandy soil that's been sort of the foundation for trying to grow some fruit trees and vegetables in this area. So um, I'll show you up close this, this soil, uh, but I want to take a handful of a project we're doing here as well, uh, where we have used our liquid natural clay to reduce the water consumption for this area. And I will show you here some of the differences. So I have here a handful of sand, sandy soil that we're using to uh, uh, see a reference really how much water we will be consuming for producing fruits in this climate and we can see this soil i mean it's it's yeah it's basically desert sand and very rocky and dusty and then we take this lnc treated uh, soil and we can see that we can truly shape it it's a nice good structure and it's holding on to moisture in, in a really nice way. So, so this is really the, the big idea about the liquid natural clay. Applying it to the sandy soils, it's binding together all these tiny sand particles and forming a soil structure that retains water and nutrients, just like a sponge. So, let's put it back here. This is gonna be super, super valuable to prove that we can do food production in desert conditions with optimal water consumption for food security and for the sustainability of our planet and as a critical part of our vision of making Earth green again. Thank you very much.